Hey viewers, welcome to another Game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing Monkey Titans, which is today's daily challenge from Blunstar Defense 5. And this is kind of a strange challenge today. There are, yeah, like so often nowadays, there are only uh, a few towers available, one of each tower, so you don't actually get to choose. And um, yeah, you only get to choose in which order you basically place them. So you can start off with uh, either the Ninja Monkey or the... Uh, tech shooter. I tried the tech shooter first because I thought it would be better, but it seems that the ninja monkey is way better. Uh, so the ninja monkey first, and then, well, what I kind of hated about this is I played this three times. The first time I started off, as I said, with the tech shooter. That really didn't work out, like, really terribly wrong. And um, after that, I went with this, um, uh, this ninja monkey. And then upgraded to Ninja Monkey and blah blah blah. And that all went okay until I had all the towers built. And that is in round like 50, I don't know, something like that. So you still have quite a bit to play. And what happened was in round 59, I just lost. So I was like, okay, how am I supposed to beat these camo balloons? If I only get two camo towers, I have them both set up in the right positions where they can see uh, two parts of the track, uh, yeah, I really didn't know. So uh, in the end, I decided to go for um, uh, for a Super Monkey after losing twice in round 59 with two different setups, well, uh, different positionings of that, um, that, that wizard, the Monkey Apprentice, because, um, yeah, the only thing I could think of is to give camo detection to one more tower, which is the Super Monkey, and you will see that round 59 is not a problem now. Um, if you're playing without that, yeah, I just wish you good luck. I, I have no clue how to do it. Because if you uh, try to do it with, well, the towers that you get, the camo detection is just not widespread enough. You, yeah, you don't have camo detection on your beekeeper obviously you don't have camo detection on your tech shooter and those are kind of the big aoe towers that you would need to get rid of those uh, large clumps of balloons and yeah it just didn't work out for me but anyway we're going to go with um yeah kind of what you can see the fully upgraded uh, ninja monkey now it's actually four and one i believe so not four and two uh, the wizard monkey is at this point, uh, well, on a was at round 46, 2 and 1. Uh, the tech shooter is 0, 0, and the super monkey is 2 and 0. And then from there on out, because I have a super monkey village, it becomes a little bit different. Because, well, you get a little more money, but it's, it's only slightly more. So you get to upgrade the... Monkey Apprentice in wave uh, 45, so at the end of wave 45 instead of uh, during wave 46. But yeah, that's camo detection, so it doesn't matter until wave 47 anyway. Um, then, yeah, for the rest, it really doesn't matter. The only wave that's really different is wave 59, because you're, get, you're going to get a very, very easy wave 59. As you can see, they can handle the camo balloons and the mobs pretty easily without uh, the camo detection on the super monkey. Um, yeah, pretty much the rest of it is is the same. It's only wave 59 that changed. And then for wave 60, we're going to do a little bit of a trick because obviously wave 60 has this big, big BFB and you want to slow that down by rebuilding the ninja monkey. As you can see, you have plenty of money left over. So we're going to rebuild the um, ninja monkey. By the way, I don't know if the two and four super monkey has camo detection. So maybe that's the answer to this because that would make sense. Anyway, we're going to sell this ninja monkey and then rebuild it as this, uh, cripple the balloons then sell uh, the ninja monkey, rebuild it at four and two, and just get rid of all of this. So easy win in the end, but as I said, the super monkey lair was used. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG.